It's Princess Shaw. Well, I had something to say today. Um, <clears throat> I <clears throat> was um, at work today, and um, it was a, a, a co-worker that works there with me. Look like my hair. No, that's not the back curtain. It's a co-worker that works with me, and um, we started. I, know, I can't really see guys too well, so I'm looking at something behind me. But it looks like my hair is sticking up, but it's really not. Anyway. So, um, a co-worker, she works with me, and I never really talked to her before. I kind of like to say, you know, hi, whatever. And so, we were sitting down today, and um, from her appearance, you would think that everything is, she's a, she's a up, pretty upbeat person. She, um, she's really sweet, timid, not really timid, but just kind of quiet to herself. So, we were sitting down. <laughs> I'm watching that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was watching something crazy. So yeah, so we were sitting there and we were talking. And so some kind of way she started telling me about this guy she's dating and um she's dating outside of her race. She never did that before. So um she told me about she started going into her life, you know, like stuff that happened. And it really touched my heart because um, to look at her, you wouldn't think, you know, a smile hides a thousand, um, what they say, you never know what's behind a smile, you know. So, um, I'm sorry, guy. What happened was she was in an abusive relationship, like really abusive. She lost her mother like one day. And then the same day she was pregnant, and the same day her boyfriend pushed her down a flight of stairs, 14 stairs. 45 minutes after she lost her mother, she lost her baby. And that was like a year ago. So I looked at her, and I felt my heart like break. You know, I didn't want to, usually what I do, I feel people's emotions. And, um,. I'm not crying, my eye just kind of like, it was hit. I usually feel emotion from people. But for her, it felt like she was so strong that she had like a, where she would want to go there to the emotional place, but she backed herself up and she become strong. And I felt that, you know, like, I looked at her and I just was like, oh, I'm so, I didn't know, it. like, oh my God, like, I just, I couldn't say anything but oh my God. To lose your mother... And then for your for your boyfriend to know you lost your mother and for him to push you down a flight of stairs and then for you to lose your baby 45 minutes after you lost your mother. And I looked at her and I said, oh, my God, I'm like, you are so strong. Like and I tried to encourage her. I said, you should tell your story. You know, you should tell it to the world because there's somebody out there in this world that feels like. It's their last resort. She said she she cracked up. She like felt like she didn't want to live. She didn't care anymore. You know, she just and I, I felt that. And it was just like, oh my God. But I felt the strength in her. I felt how strong she was. And it just made me I wanted to hug her. So I was like, you know, I'm a hugger. So I'm just like, can I hug you? She's like, sure. And I hugged her. You know. And then, you know, it's like, and I just walk after like talking, I was just looking at her, we just walking. She, then she said to me, she said, I don't know why I told you that. She said, I don't know why, why I just told you all that. And I said, I don't know, maybe because I'm, I'm open to stuff like that. And most people, they tell me stuff they wouldn't, they wouldn't tell somebody else. I don't know why people do that. They choose me to do that. But they usually, um, yeah, but when she said that, I was like, you know, I was, I was happy she, she shared that with me, but I was also sad for her, you know, but the strength behind that girl is unbelievable. Like, you can feel it on her. Like, she wants to lose it. But, you know, but now she's in a good relationship with a guy. She never thought she'd go outside her race. Um, she has. She's found somebody that's a great person for her. He treats her like gold. You know, when you're not used to being treated a good, in a good way, you don't understand when somebody treats you good. So you begin to lash out because you're so used to being hurt. You know, but I wanted to share that story and I told her, I told her today, I said, I'm going on my channel and I, I have to tell people your story. 
Like, and I felt like, and I told her, I walked up and said, you should tell your story to people. Because right now in this world, there's some people right now, we're standing here talking, there's somebody out there that's like, they just don't want to live anymore. And they don't want to go on anymore. And I told her, you should tell your story because you can help a lot of people. You know, it's, it's like therapy. And she was like, a lot of people tell her that. And I said, well, if a lot of people tell you that, it's, you should do it. Because you can help, she can really help a lot of people. You know, just hearing her story, it made me realize that life is too short for the bullshit. Like, this girl went through all this hell and back. And, and the crazy thing about it was, before her mother died, she told her, I'm taking that baby with me. That baby going everywhere I, I'm, I go. That baby's coming with me. And, you know, she didn't understand what her mother meant at that time, but her mother meant the baby's actually going with her to heaven. You know what I'm saying? So, I just wanted to share that story with you guys. It was a story that touched my heart. and It just made me feel, it made me look at life differently, you know, and it, it made me... I don't judge people, but sometimes we all have that little ink where we do that, and, and I just and I just feel like wow. I had to hug her, you know. I just like I feel her strength, and to, for her to go through such bullshit and such painful shit like she went through, and for her to come to work and smile and still carry on like you know, and that was just a year ago that this happened. That's a beautiful girl. She's a beautiful, beautiful spirit. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. I have to go because my time's running out. But this is Princess Shaw. This is, I just wanted to let you guys know some of what I experienced today. And I'll come back probably tomorrow. I'm off tomorrow. I'll probably come back later with a song for you guys. Until then, Princess Shaw, PSTV. This is the chronicles of my bullshit, fucked up roller coaster life. But it's my life. It's a beautiful life. And I love it. Until then, I'll see you guys later. I'll see you later, baby. I'll see you later, love. I'll see you later, baby. Don't ever get it.